Hi, I'm Melanie and welcome to week four of my $21 per person per week challenge. Um, we are moving into week five, so that means we have completed four weeks, so one full month of the $21 per person, and I feel like we've eaten pretty well. Um, we're always full. We're not hungry. Um, the meals are regular meals that I normally like to cook. Um, all in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, we thought we were only going to do this for four weeks, but it's working out really well. So we're going to continue it on for, I'm not exactly sure how long. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. And I hope you like the meals that you see we were able to make this week. Tonight we are making shrimp chow mein. I'm excited. We are not going to make as much as we did the last time. That was a little bit excessive. We used double the noodles that we have here and we were eating it for like three days. Two full whole meals plus I think um, we had some for snacks. So we're going to put in it broccoli, cauliflower, we have celery, peppers, onions, mushrooms, carrots. I'm also going to make um, fried rice like I did the last time. But this time I have a little bit of cabbage that I can put in, some green onions. I'm adding the egg and the verdict is still out. I, I might put a few peas in it. I'm not sure yet. I'll decide later. And you can see in my background here, I am trying to salvage the tomatoes that I harvested after they, the frost, I say frost, they were frozen solid. And these ones over here too, I'm hoping that they'll ripen. Here is the final product, um, the fried rice, the, this time we use teriyaki seasoning, so teriyaki shrimp chow mein and I know I said I was making less than we did the last time but somehow we ended up with this much extra and also extra rice so that will either be snacks extras if we're still hungry after our meal or maybe a lunch here is the beginning of chili uh, the ground beef onions peppers and the little teeny teeny jalapenos that I salvaged from the garden after the after the frost. The rest of this stuff is going in tomatoes, tomato soup, mushrooms. I'm not putting the entire can of beans in maybe a third of each can and then I'm going to freeze the rest for other recipes. Um, I'm definitely putting in chili powder and the garlic and um, the verdict is out on whether I'm going to add some red pepper flakes or not. I think I'm going to try it and see how hot it is before I add those in. This is gonna be brown bread. I didn't have um, enough molasses for the recipe, so I just, I had almost enough, so I just put in what I had and we're hoping for the best. I'm finally gonna use up um, those yellow zucchinis. I am gonna make morning glory muffins and they have in them apples, carrots, zucchini. And I really like this recipe because it doesn't have a lot of extra ingredients um, and it requires minimal amounts of flour compared to the vegetables and the fruit. So I will show you what the final outcome looks like. I was able to make a couple packs of the wet portion of the ingredients for the muffins that'll go right in the freezer and then I will be able to make this when I get more of the dry ingredients. I ended up making four little mini loaves and a half a dozen muffins. Another item that we generously received, my spouse has a friend who has bees and he gifted us um, some honey. So that is now something that is going into our pantry. Here's what we were able to glean from the tree. Uh, they look a little rough. But once I get them cleaned up and peeled, they'll be perfect for more apple crisps. 
I have used one of the packages of broth that I did up. I am hoping to make um, a little more than what the package calls for for the gravy and give it a little extra flavor. Okay, here we have cheese sausages, coleslaw, peas, and the beginnings of a Canadian specialty. Poutine, I'm just going to add the gravy here. Make sure that I get the cheese curds covered. Can't wait. I was gifted these little potatoes and these couple onions. I'm actually pretty excited. So these are these are just teeny. Um, there's a special recipe that we like to use potatoes this size. So if I can get some dill um, for next week, I'll be able to make that. Very happy. I am going to prepare a roast in my handy slow cooker. Um, we're obviously not going to eat all of this for a meal and then the leftovers we are going to turn into pulled pork. Here it is in the slow cooker. I just put the roast in, totally frozen. A um, couple potatoes, a couple carrots, onions, uh, some water and turn it on. It's very, very easy to make. And I forgot to take a video before we ate. So these are the leftovers of the roast after we had our supper. Roast, potatoes, carrots, and onions left over. I want to make pulled pork and we don't have any barbecue sauce. So with all of the ingredients that you see here, I am going to try to make um, enough that we can have some pulled pork. Okay, so I made the sauce. I didn't measure anything. I just kind of put stuff in. I used um, one of those vinegar packs and then it seemed like mm, maybe it smelled a little bit too much vinegary. So I added a couple more ketchup packs. I'm not sure if that's going to be quite enough to put in with the um, pork that I have, but we're going to try it. And if I need to make more, I will. I definitely had to make more. Um, so I made that same amount again. And this time I added one extra ingredient. Um, jam is one of the items that we've been counting for free and in the summer I made dandelion jelly. So it's got a very, uh, the flavor is very much like honey. Um, so I just added that in so we will see how this whole thing tastes. And here we have pulled pork on buns, cauliflower with cheese, sweet potato fries, and coleslaw. Week four is done and I've accumulated quite a lot of items. I'll do a pan here so that you can see. Um, the margarine, there's not much left of that, but there's eggs, um, at, at least half of the sour cream, half of the cream cheese, some shredded cheese, a little bit of the brick cheese left, um, spinach left, carrots, um, one and a half fresh peppers, still hanging on a couple of the celery, an avocado, a little bit here left of the lettuce, I cooked the squash and here are the seeds. I'm going to bake those. A little bit left of the margarine that I traded for. This is that little bit of fake cheese from the very beginning. Salt and pepper, lime juice. I hydrated or dehydrated the um, frozen green tomatoes from the vine. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet, but I have them now. Uh, so the three bananas, you can see I haven't eaten those yet, so I'm going to have to do something with them soon. Um, onions in the back, some sauces left here, um, salsa, uh, syrup, and jam. 
brown bread, white bread, some of the bagels left, some of the hot dog buns, still a couple of the fajita shells. And then these are all of the leftovers. Oh, well, this is bacon, so that's not leftovers. Uh, I finally cooked the squash. So that's filled with squash. This has in it leftover pulled pork and a little bit of coleslaw. This has in it the potatoes and carrots from when I made the pork roast. Here's some cauliflower and cheese. And then I saved all of the drippings from when I made the roast. And and that's probably going to get frozen. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But quite a lot of um, fresh items. A lot of items building up in freezer supplies. So for those of you that's been following along, this is just... Um, food that I have acquired through shopping, $21 per person per week that we haven't eaten that's still in the freezer and available to us in any of the coming weeks. Um, beans I've frozen, um, packs that I have made of wet ingredients for future muffins, um, some more frozen vegetables. This is my scrap bag for future broth, half the hot half the hamburger buns, um, two thirds of the shrimp. This is uh, an apple crisp broth. These are fajita packs that I did up and I only um, used half of the cheese curds and I used half of the gravy that I made so that I could have gravy and curds for future poutines. Lots of items. Pantry supplies uh, have been diminishing, so I've got left here some brown sugar in the back, some of the chow mein noodles, peanut butter, olive oil, Italian spices, breadcrumbs, uh, beef broth, one can of cream of mushroom soup, the um, quinoa, which has turned out to be not a great purchase, um, the rice, there is spaghetti left in here, a little bit of noodles. So you'll notice we have no flour left, no oatmeal left. Um, up here's all my spices. So still have garlic powder, onion powder, taco, and I haven't merged those two together yet. Chili powder, yeast, um, cinnamon, red pepper flakes, uh, baking powder, baking soda, um, Montreal steak. There's honey in the background, one bag of chips. We're hoarding those. And here is the potatoes that I got for a really good deal last week. There was a big rip in the bag. They were already on sale and then I got them for half price off of that. And one pumpkin. Thanks so much for watching um, week four meals. Uh, moving forward, we are going to do something that's a little bit of a, a challenge. Christmas is coming, so I am hoping to slow but sure acquire some items that we will be able to make um, special treats for Christmas. And one of the big things, so if you haven't watched any of the other videos, I am located in Nova Scotia, Canada. So seafood is a big thing here. And we always like to have chowder, seafood chowder, uh, around Christmas time. And that's a, a special thing for us and already I have in um, the freezer a, a small package of haddock and some shrimp so I am going to as a challenge for myself within the challenge um, try to acquire slowly slowly over the weeks leading up to Christmas the rest of the items that I would need for uh, a seafood chowder so that's a challenge within a challenge for me Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy, I hope you hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any suggestions or comments for me, please leave them. Um, I read them all and uh, I find actually some of them really helpful. Thank you so much.